Hi everyone, welcome to GolfProTips.net. My name is Brett Francisco, Certified PGA Instructor, and today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite club face stabilization drills. So a lot of golfers will struggle, particularly those um, that might have the yips, um, with keeping the club face nice and stable throughout the stroke. So this drill will give instant feedback on feel and direction. So what you'll need for this drill are two golf balls. And what I'm going to do is place them side by side to each other, almost touching. The objective here, I'm going to try to hit as close in relationship to the cup as possible. And I'm going to hit both golf balls simultaneously. Now what's going to happen, so let's say that I have a tendency to shut the club face. So toe turned inward. I'm actually going to hit the outward ball a little bit further than the inward ball. And then vice versa. If I'm coming in a little bit more open, I'm most likely going to hit the inside ball closest to me further than the outside ball. The objective when using this drill is to get both golf balls to roll with the same power and speed. So I'm going to stage my position here, take my stroke, and I'm going to set up. Now here, I'm going to try to keep the club face nice and square. And here we go. You notice both golf balls rolled on the same line and they both were in the same type of speed. So just for the sake of it here, I'm going to destabilize my club face and show you what can happen if you're closing the club face. So here, on purpose, I'm going to shut this. That way the outer ball is going to move faster than the inner ball. Now, as you can see, the outer ball not only came off faster, but it rolled out another probably three and a half feet further than the inner ball. I'll do just the opposite here. So stage my position. One purpose. I'm going to let the heel of the club come in first. That's going to cause the inner ball to move faster. So it actually was so open that that actually pushed the outer ball away from me. So we upload these videos every Sunday and I encourage you to hit the like and subscribe button for more. So let's try this drill again. So here I am, staged in position. And by the way, this is a fantastic drill that you can use in the home office, at your office, um, or just down the hallway. So if you find a rainy day and you're bored and there's nothing to do, this is a great way to start working on stabilizing the club face. So here I am, square to square, bingo. Now on that one, I left the face slightly open and it was instant feedback. I love it because it's instant feedback. The inside ball traveled further than the outside ball. Fortunately, it wasn't that great of a distance uh, or difference in being open there, but I could tell that the face was open. So here again, I'm going to now stabilize, knowing my last stroke was slightly open. I'm gonna square that club face Bingo. And if you do this right, most of the time, um, you can even get both balls to drop in. So let's try it one more time. So again, golf ball to golf ball, position here. And again, so it looks like I'm going to need to work on keeping the club face from opening. I've always had a slightly outside to end stroke with my putting because I, I prefer that for feel. Um, so here, knowing that, I'm actually going to concentrate on working on closing my club face just ever so slightly. That way I know that I have a neutral square face. Here we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Both golf balls came off nice and even. So it's a great drill because it gives you instant feedback. So please tune in next Sunday for more and like and subscribe. Thank you.